Hey YouTube, welcome to Rhonda's Glam Corner. Today, we are going to install another four by four. So, if you would like to know how it was done, I would like you to sit back, relax, and keep watching. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you took some time out of your busy day to come hang out with me. So, we have some new hair today. And I did get it from Amazon. It is a 20 inch waterway 4x4 closure. The name of the company is Smile Nice. And it was only $125.99. This is what the hair is looking like. It's pretty cute. The hairline is pretty decent. So, you know, I do record my videos in advance. It's Memorial Weekend. You guys won't see this for weeks. But I am going to go ahead and install this hair with... Uh, I'm going to use my Kiss Almighty Bond glue. <laughs> I love this glue. And um, I'm going to start off by uh, wiping off my forehead, which I already did. But... I lost my glasses, so I was walking around in here for about 20 minutes. <laughs> ah, for about 20 minutes looking for my glasses. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe my forehead off again. I'm using, is this 93? Yeah, 91% alcohol. Just on a cotton ball. So, y'all know, y'all know the Dale, the Dizzle. Let's get started. So this is the inside. It has two combs on the side, one comb in the back, and an adjustable strap. Yeah, and, and, and it's a good tight fit. A good tight fit. Like, I put it on, I put it on the last um, hook, which is where I put my, um, where I, where I strap mine because you guys know I have a small head. So I am going to let that dry down and I will be back. Hey you guys, so I am back and it is still a little bit white, but it's it's dry enough for us to go ahead and continue with the install. So I'm just pulling the hair down. What I am going to do from here is I'm going to tie it down with my um, elastic band. And that's to help it melt into my skin. And I will be back. 
Hey you guys, so I am back and it's been 10 minutes. I let it sit. It's stuck down nicely. And we are going to go ahead and cut off the lace. And, and today I'm going to cut the lace as close to the hairline as I can get it. So, if you look at the hairline, um, it, it is pretty decent. The lace is sticking down pretty good. The only thing is, it is a little bit big for me here. So, you see it's on top of my ear. I am thinking... that I want to side part today and this is a four by four but this is a little bit more than four by four hair to hair this is more than four by four so I could get a side part that's a little bit deeper than I normally could get with a four by four And an easy, uh, easy way to separate your part is to spray water. So now, I am going to go ahead and uh, get my straightener plugged up and I will be back once it gets hot so we can continue. Okay, you guys, so I am back and um, I'm just gonna take my wax stick just like that. And I'm just gonna run my straightener right on the top. And what I'm doing right now is just defining my part. So I, I, I kind of find when you have a four by four and you do a side part right here, so a lot of times when you're trying to cover up the track here, a lot of times it can look a little bit wiggy. So that's the reason why I'm focusing here and going back with it. And, and we're going to cover up the tracks later, but honestly, you can barely see the tracks anyway. And and sometimes when you're trying to define your part or flatten out the top, like, like I say, it's better to do it on a mannequin head. But today I wasn't actually absolutely sure what I wanted to do with this hair. That's the reason why I'm doing it on my head. But just take your time and go back and forth in the area where you're trying to separate it. So from here to here like this. So it's summertime, it's tight. I feel like, you know, some baby hair in the front. So.
So, from here, I'm going to tie my hair down with my scarf. Let my baby hair dry. Throw on a little bit of makeup and I'll be back with my final thoughts on this hair. Hey, you guys. So, I am back and this is the end result of this um, wig install. And I have to say, um, the hair didn't give me any problems. There wasn't any... Um, tangling or shedding i really didn't comb the hair it's curly hair so you know we really don't comb curly hair but i didn't have any shedding the only thing i did was uh i did spray it with water that was about it this is the hairline which i think is pretty natural um I guess let me see I need, I need I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of powder which sorry guys I did forget but I'll, I'll just go ahead and do it on camera with you guys just right around the hairline because what, what I've been noticing with this new type of lace that they have once you put that powder, the hairline disappears. Yeah, and I need to be cute. <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. Let me stop. I mean, I, I think I think this hair is nice. Um, one of the things that I, I really do like about this hair is is where uh this is 20 inches but right here i like that it's layered here I, I really like that because i didn't have to do any cutting i didn't have to layer it i just left it alone that's it i think 150 is good for everyday hair like th this here i think it it's it it does feel lightweight but it doesn't look thin so may, maybe that's the difference it's it's it feels thin but it doesn't look thin so um that's about all i have to say about the hair if you have any questions about this makeup look it will be the video that i post after this one so look out for that one and we're coming to that time again where I have to say thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as I always say, stay glamorous. Bye.